one that was classified himself as a black African American. You have some that even classify themselves as Moors, and even some they will classify their nationality as a religion. Right. We've been so lost that we think a nationality is a religion. Right. Because when you ask how people what's your nationality, they say I'm a Christian. That's not a nationality. A nationality, the root word is nation. Right. Country. So where do you reside? Where do you originate from? It's important that we know that. Because when you know where you originate from, you'll know your customs, you'll know your laws, you'll know your heritage, and you'll know the God that you worship. Hey, my brother, how you doing? My name is Ariel. What's your name? Can I get your name? Rakim. Who? Rakim. Rakim? Yeah. Rakim. All right. Okay, we teach him the Bible, right? The Bible is actually black history. That's right. right? That's right. Because according to the Bible, the so-called blacks and Hispanics, we are the Israelites. That's right. That's right. We are the chosen people of this book. Right. We are the chosen people of God. Have you ever heard of the Israelites? Have you ever heard of the Israelites? <laughs> All right, let me show you something that the Lord said about the Israelites. Let's get Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. Because what's your nationality if I was to ask your nationality? Meaning, if you was to put out a job application and it says race or ethnicity, which, which one would you select? Black, African American. So you'll pick black and African American. So the irony in both of those is, is your skin color black? Right. Because black is my boots. Right? So how can you really be black? And the other irony in African America, when you examine history, those places, America and Africa, was named after two white men. Right. Did you know that? Uh, Africa, Leo Scipio's Africanus, a Roman, a Roman general, who defeated Hannibal, who, matter of fact, I don't want to say defeated, but he stopped Hannibal onslaught on his way to Rome. Right. Hannibal was a black man, by the way. Right. He was on his way to destroy Rome. Right. He was stopped. Right. So, was, so Africa was named after Leo Scipio's Africanus. And America was named after Amerigo Vespucci. He was a Roman, no, an Italian navigator. That's right. Right. He was an Italian navigator. So how can you be black African-American when black is a color? Right. How can you be African-American when your nationality is based on two white men? Are you a white man? You said yourself that if you fill out a job application, you'll put black African-American. So that's what we out here do. We out here trying to teach our people their true nationality. Because it's important to know who you are. Right. Because there's a book that's specified for you. I'm going to quote that. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Uh, unto all black African Americans. Unto all Israel. Unto all Latinos. Unto all Israel. So Rakim, right? So it's important to know who you are because the book is addressing a, a certain nation of people. But let me show you something else. What's those, why it's important to know who you are. Let me see what God thinks. Let me show you how God views the Israelites. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. It's important to know who we are. Because guess what? We out here on Madison and Western. You ain't the only one that will classify himself as a black African American. You have some that even classify themselves as Moors. And even some, they will classify their nationality as a religion. Right. We've been so lost that we think a nationality is a religion. Right. Because when you ask how people, what's your nationality, they say, I'm a Christian. That's not a nationality. A nationality, the root word is nation. Right. Country. So where do you reside? Where do you originate from? It's important that we know that. Because when you know where you originate from, you will know your customs, you will know your laws, you know your heritage, and you'll know the God that you worship. Because believe it or not, a lot of our people, I'll say a lot of our people, they worship this. Who's this man right there? What does the world consider him to be? Jesus, right, right, it's okay. I know you might not agree with this. I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not up here trying to get you to agree with this. I'm trying to, to, to pick your brain and see who this is. But yes, you're right, a lot of our people consider this to be Jesus Christ. But this is not Jesus Christ. This is the image of the beast. That's right. We're going to prove that next. But I want to show you how God feels about the Israelites. Because that is your nationality, Mark Hill. You're not black. Bring it up. You're not other. Right. You're not a black African American. Right. You know those things. Read. Call to read it. The book of, oh, hold on. Let me read this verse. Hold the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art 
holy people unto the Lord thy God. So the Lord addressed this to all Israel. He says we are what? A holy people unto the Lord thy God. Hey, oh no, you had a question. Don't go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? How long is it going to be out? Because I got to go. If you gotta go, you gotta go, but I really want to answer your question. So what's your question, by the way, before you go? I know, just ask how long it's gonna be before I'm gonna come back We're gonna be how long as it takes. But it's important that you stay here, though. If you ain't got nowhere to go. No, I got you. All right, read this. This is as you leave. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now read it from the top. This is for you, so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Right. You are the Israelites. Right. The Bible is our history book. That's right. What does God say about the Israelites? Bring it Ready. up. For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. We are a holy nation. Holy means to be set apart. Right. Ready. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. He has chosen us. He has chosen us, but you're not going to learn that in church. Right. Right. God, the church says, come as you are. Bring the church up. says, God loves everybody. Bring it up. No. God loving everyone in case of my people being at the bottom. Right. How far have we got it with being, how far have we got it with that notion that God loves everybody? Bring it up. If God loves everybody, how come you got sisters like Sexy Red right. making these stupid songs? Bring right. it up. If God, if we're so, if we're, God loves everybody. How come we the ones killing each other? Right. Right. If God loves everybody, how come we are single parents? Right. If God loves everybody, how come our men are not growing up with their fathers? Right. Where's the love in that? Right. But you tell me God loves everybody. No, God loves everyone in case of our people being in the bottom. Right. But there's one thing we've never been taught as a people. Right. No one has never told us. That we are above everybody. Right. Right. No one's never told us that we are special to God. Right. Right. Think about it. Name me someone, anybody, I don't care who they are, politician, activist. Name me someone who said that black people are a holy people. Right. Name them, tell me. Bring it up. Then tell me. Who's out here advocating that right. the black man, the Hispanic man, we're special? Right. right. Show me. Nobody can't find it. Bring it out. We're too busy want to be like everybody. Right. We're too busy want to be equal to everybody. Oh, oh. Keep reading with the top. The Lord thy God has chosen this you, for thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. What church is telling us that the black and Hispanic man, we are holy people? Not one church. But we're going to tell you. Why? Because we're reading out the book. Right. Read on. The Lord thy God. God has chosen us. God has chosen us. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to, to be a special people. Whether you believe it or not, Dion, the Lord God has chosen you. He's chosen us. Dion, the Lord has chosen you. Right. He's chosen you. That's right. That's what makes me upset because I'm telling you, God has chosen us. Right. But you want to ignore us? Bring it up. Religion has not left up our people now one time. Right. Politics has not left up our people now once. Right. But we are here to lift our people up. That's right. God has chosen us. Read on. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Guess what? The Lord has chosen us to be special unto himself. That's right. So when the Lord looks at what's special, He's looking at you, black man. Right. He's looking at you, Hispanic man. Right. He's looking at you, Native American man. Right. Right. Well, if I got to tell you from across the street, right. Right. read, to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. And that's one thing y'all don't like to hear. That's right. We want to be equal to everybody. Right. right. I'm going to turn my voice down a little bit. Maybe it's the, the loudest in my voice. Let me, let me calm down a little bit. But guess what? The Lord has called you to be special. The Lord says we are above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's right. Last time I checked, we are on planet earth. So within the planet, you have people. On that planet, you have people. And that people, the Israelites, are above everybody else. That's right. So we have to come back to that. How do we come back to that? How do we come back to understanding who we are? 
how do we come back to understanding that we are above everybody? That's right. We have to come back to our God. We have to come back to our laws. We have to come back to our heritage. Right. Let me show you something. Let's go to Sirach 17 and 11. Bring it so how do we be above everybody? How do we be separate from everybody? We have to do what God tells us to do. Because right. guess what? It's a church everywhere, but guess what? No one's doing what God say in those churches. Right, right. That's why you have all type of safe scandals. That's where you have the pastor robbing the people. Bring it right. That's why next to the church you can have the house of the pastor in the same neighborhood where it's crime and drugs and crack cocaine. Right. I don't understand that. You talk about a man of God that lives in the same neighborhood as me, right in the midst of the of the filth. Right. Where is he at? Right. How come he's not coming out here waking his people up? Right. How come he's not out here telling us we're special? Bring right. it out. Because guess what? If he did, that would stop all the drug selling. Right. Wait a minute, I'm special? You're special? I don't want to do my brother like that. I don't want to sell crack and cocaine to my people. Right. Because you're special. Right. For a long time, we have never been given a message that lift ourselves to lift ourselves up. Right. Right. God says we're special, but how do we come back to being special? Jeez. Read that. Sarat? The book of Sarat, chapter 17 and verse 11. And my brother right here. My brother, what's your name, Brian. by the way? Brian. Brian. <laughs> Brian. Nice to meet you, Brian. Jeez. Brian. My name's Ariel. Now, what's your nationality? Puerto Rican and black. Okay. Well, who's your... Good. Let me show you. That's even better, right? That's even better. Because you're not going to find Puerto Rican in the Bible. You're not going to find black in the Bible. Because black is the color of your shirt. Right. Black is the color of the sweatpants. Bring it out. So what we out here teaching, we out here teaching nationality. Right. So according to the Bible, what the Bible say, the so-called blacks and Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the Israelites. That's right. So when you look here, Judah, American black. You're not black, you're from the tribe of Judah. Right. Let me show you who else was from the tribe of Judah since they failed to teach us this in church. Let's go to Hebrews 7 and 14. And I'm going to deal with the Puerto Rican. By the way, also, I might as well since I'm right here, Puerto Rican. Right here, Ephraim, Puerto Ricans. So you're not going to find Puerto Ricans in the Bible. You're going to find Ephraim. That's who you are. But let's go back to Christ because American black, you'll be from the tribe of Judah. Let's see who else was from the tribe of Judah. Let's see who else. Come on. Call it and read it. The book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and verse 14. Yeah. For it is evident. For it is evident. Evidence. You have proof, right? Wait. That our Lord sprang out of Judah. Yeah, our who? Our Lord sprang out of Judah. Yeah, who? Our Lord sprang out of Judah. So our Lord, when it says Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ, he also come from Judah. Right. He also come from Judah. Read on. Of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. So guess what? Christ comes from the tribe of Judah. Because why? It's, it's evident. It's proof. So if we can read the book and know where Christ come from, quite clearly I can read the same book and know where you come from and where you come from. What about your nationality? What's yours? What's your father? Black. Black. Yes. So yes, you will be an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. No, the same tribe that Christ come from. Right. right? Let me show you all these signs right here. Because how ironic we have some pictures, right? I want y'all to... Now, now, what is the... Who, I'm going to ask this question. Who does the world consider to be Jesus Christ? Who does the world consider... The white man. The white man. Yeah, that's what they, that's what they portray him as. The white man. Oh, uh, okay. I have a couple of pictures of some white man. Which one? Right there, right? Right. Now, remember, Christ is from the tribe of Judah. So you mean tell me that Judah you is the white man? He's a black man. I'm glad you said that. We're going to read it. Have you ever heard that before? Christ is a black man? Yes. How do you know? My older brother. Your older brother? All right, let's read it real fast. We got we to gotta cast it down. Because no matter how much, how many people claim they know, there's a lot of people that still believe this. Nonetheless, it's pushed in uh, mainstream uh, media. It's pushed through our religion. You go to uh, any Roman cathedral, Catholic church, they still have this image. Yeah. You go to some churches, they still have this image. Right. So no matter how many people claim they know, this image is still being pushed. So we have to cast that down. Right. Let's get that Revelation 1 and 1. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Right. So this is the revelation. The root word revelation is to reveal, to show. To show you have to have eyes to see, right? Alright, good. So we're going to show you. We're going to show you. Let's get to uh, 14. Let's get to the point. I want to continue to deal with some other things for the time I have up here. Verse 14. Verse 
14. His head and his hair were white like wool. Okay, so we have another image here, right? Look at this one and look at that one. Come over here, Elijah. Read that part again. His head and his hair were white like wool. All right, so which, so we describe it, Jesus Christ according to the Bible. Yes, sir. So which one has white woolly hair? None of them. What you mean? In this, that they, they depict this. Hold on, stay with me, stay with me. We have this picture, we have this picture. Oh. This one. There we go, 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 there we go. Yes, sir. I know, I know you know, I know, I know you know some things, bro. I, I already know. I know. Come on, read. His head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine bread. And his what? Feet like unto fine bread. Well, you got the Crocs on, you got socks on, but is your feet the same color as your body? Yeah, bring it out. Stop playing, bro. Got less than one minute. Twenty seconds. I'm dark. Is your feet the same color as your body? Yes. All right, this is that's what I'm doing. Okay. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, fam. Come on. And his feet like unto fine bread. Now I'm gonna ask you this then, since you've been you've been on fire already. What color is grass? Uh, copper color like brownish brown. brown. Okay, so take that that copper color brass. Let's go further describe it. Read. And if they burn. They what? Burn in a furnace. So we're talking about that copper color brown. Yeah. Now if you burn it, what color would it get? It's gonna get dark. Oh man, oh man, you on fire. I like that. I like when you come humble. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 